Hi, it's Brendan from Deco Network, here with another Deco Network tutorial driven from a question in our community forum. This question came from Printed Clothing, and he wants to know, is there a way to insert a message or a note after or around the size area? So in his particular use case, he wants to make sure that people will always refer to the sizing chart when picking their sizes, and not, for example, pick sizes based on the age of the child. So in other ways, a child at size 5 won't always wear a size 5 garment. So always refer to the sizing chart. Now to do that, as always, I use um, two browsers. I have my Firefox running, and I'm not logged in, so I'm viewing it as an everyday customer. And I use the Firefox plugin Firebug, which lets you inspect your CSS and HTML and make some changes in the HTML and CSS and preview those changes as you go along. And you get that from getfirebug.com. Then you want to run another browser, in my case, Chrome, and you want to be logged in your website, so you can paste in those changes as you go along. And to paste in your changes, browse through to Manage for that website. Then click on Website Settings, and click on Customize Template CSS. Now back to Firefox, and let's start making some of those changes. So again, we want to insert some content after this sizing panel here. So first of all, we have to find this section in our CSS. So I'll grab the inspect code and I'll just click on the heading and that will get me roughly to the spot of where that area is. And if I click up one, I can see here is a list item, which is the sizes. Here's a list item, which is the colors. They're both within an unsorted list item with a class of dot add. And that's sitting inside of a container, a div container with the ID tab underscore product underscore details. So basically, I want to refer to a list item that sits all within those and make sure I only get the first one so, so that whatever changes I do won't appear in any additional list items or any additional child list items that might appear down the line as we go along as well. So first of all, I'm going to start off by referring to this uh, div here. So over the side, I'll right click and I'll click add rule. And to refer to that div, it's an ID, so I put hash and it is tab underscore product underscore details. Then I want to refer to the unsorted list or the UL with a class of add. So I do space UL dot, which means class add. And then I want to refer to the very first LI only. So I use the greater than symbol, which basically means the next element. So the very next LI, and just to be sure, I'm going to put colon first dash of dash type. And that means grab the first of that type only and don't grab the rest. Now just to make sure I've grabbed the right um, the right element or I've got the correct CSS rule, I'm going to put enter and I'm going to put in a background of red. And as we can see, just that part only has glowed red and nothing else has turned red, which means I've got the right CSS rule, which is awesome. So now I can continue on and make those changes. Now again, we want to insert some content after this section here. So I've created a rule to grab that section, and to insert some content after, we use the CSS colon colon after. We add that to the end of that uh, CSS rule. And then we can use content. And in quotation marks, you can put whatever content you want. In this case, please refer to the sizing chart when selecting your sizes and close off that with another quotation mark. You can put whatever content you want. You can elaborate as much as you want. Um, just make sure it fits within that quotation mark. And then I can save that away by grabbing, select that element, by grabbing that CSS, copying that out, go back to my Chrome, paste it in, and click Save and Continue Editing. And that change is now permanent on my website. Now the only thing is it kind of blends in. It doesn't really stand out. Blends in with the color label. Um, my customers will probably miss it and I really want them to see that message. So while we're here, we can add some additional styling. First of all, add some background color. So background of yellow, because that stands out. Uh, make it be full width, so width of, um, of 100%. Um, and to do that, display inline block. Um, add a bit of padding because it's a bit bunched up. So padding 
of 10 pixels. Now that then forces that outside of the container because it's got the 100% plus the 10 pixels of both sides, so pushing out by 20 pixels. We can fix that by using the uh, box-sizing and then border box. And that now basically says wrap up that padding into the full width so it doesn't expand out. And again, it's looking a little bit bunched, so I want to put some margin at the top and bottom, but none at the side. So I put margin of 10 pixel for top and bottom and zero for nothing on the right and left. And that now sits quite nicely. Uh, one more thing, I'll add a little border. Border of one pixel solid and make it orange. And just because I want it to look like a little note, I'm going to put um, border dash radius of let's say six pixels and that gives a nice little rounded corner edge to that as well okay with that all done i can then once again grab all that change copy it out bring it back to chrome override that previous one i pasted in save and continue and always when you are finished, go back to your firefox close off firebug refresh that page to make sure that whatever change you've done has loaded and has become a permanent part of your deco network website